Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Hello, peoples. What's Back with up? some news. Uh, you know, NBA Media Day. Yes. People started pulling some cakes out. Oh, even in preseason too. Even preseason too. Preseason just started. I think it was like yesterday or yeah. something. Yeah. Super dope. Super happy that finally the season started, even though it is just a preseason. Yeah. But. Yes, uh, Media Day, you know, there's a lot of coverage on that, and Anthony Davis uh, you know, broke out some new, new kicks. Yeah. So, sneakers on court, uh, I, I feel like Nick DePaula is the first one to say what it was, mm -hmm. so shout out to him. But uh, this shoe is called the Nike Air Force Max. Hmm. Why do they keep changing the name? So, yeah. what, what was the first one? Uh, it was Audacity, right? Yeah, Audacity, and, and then, then he, uh, and then after that it was Audacity again, I think. Yeah, and then and it then, was Infuriate. No, it was Dominate. Dominate, Dominate was and then Infuriate, year. and then Infuriate um, was uh, the low. I'm just joking. Okay. I'm just throwing words <laughs> okay, out. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, they get they oh, man, they, especially with Kobe's line. I mean, yeah. they they lost their minds. It's so confusing. You know yeah. Just say like twenty, at least a year or something. Yeah. The Dominate twenty eighteen or nineteen or whatever, um, but. Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's let's look at it. There are some nice pictures. Um, so, yeah. A lot of Air Max, full-length Air Max. Basically full-length, dude. That's yeah. kind of crazy. It's, Under your foot. I've never seen it, like, that thin in a forefront. I know. You know, and also, like, I don't think I've ever seen a basketball shoe with full-length Air, Air Max besides, I think, the LeBron 8. Right. Yeah, the LeBron 8 had... Uh, this is a South Peach, it's going for 1300 that's kind of crazy. What? Um, but yeah, yeah, so this LeBron 8 had full-length Air Max, yeah. and uh, in the fourth foot, yeah, it's still like pretty, pretty thin, but yeah, yeah it's full-length there, and also the, I feel like, yeah, the 9 only had it in the heel, or like mid-foot to heel, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that's also Air Max, but this Air Max Dominate has a full-length unit underneath your Ooh. foot. And this counter is wrapping around from the midfoot all the way to the heel. That counter is nice. No, I like it. That's a nice counter. No, it's great. It's yeah. a lot though. I it like the way lot. it looks. Yeah. Um, I, I really love the shoe aesthetically too. This yeah. colorway, everything. This colorway is super dope. It's yeah. fire. And then you got um, I'm not sure what the upper is. Looks like you got looks like you got some synthetic. Uh, uh, it's hard to tell exactly what the upper is, but there is a strap. Oh, uh, there is a strap. A uh, normal, normal tongue. It's not a one booty. I, I like the, I like this swoosh. I kind of like this. Yeah, swoosh. still. It looks super dope. Little touch. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. I, I, it looks Ooh. like there's a little bit of a circle right yeah. here in, in where your forefoot is for the traction pattern. Uh, mm -hmm. The little you can see, uh, and it says Air Max right there. I wonder how it's gonna perform, man. I don't. I, don't, I usually don't like Air Max because Air Max sucks. <laughs> when I tested the Dominates, the Air Max and the heel kind of impressed me. Yeah. Um, there, there was some compression there. It's really just more of a soft uh, impact protection than anything else. Yeah. Which I'm not like the biggest fan of, but you know, it's nice to have if if you're looking for some impact protection. Yeah. I mean, Overall, I'm just I'm just hype on these aesthetically. Yeah, they look super dope. Uh, I don't know if this. Colorway is gonna release. That'd be super dope if it did, yeah. but I, I, I doubt it. But um, yeah, I mean, the only downside of Air Max is that, or there's there's a couple of downsides. You know, you're super high off the ground, and you can never feel the cushion underneath your foot. Yeah. It's always on the edge. Yeah. You know? So like, if you put your your foot and you you kind of like go like this in the heel, you can feel it, or like this. But like. Right underneath your foot, you can never really feel anything, which I don't like at all. Yeah, because like the difference between Air Max and, and Zoom Air is that they're both an airbag. Yes. But Air Max is just big pillars, which underneath your foot. stabilizes yeah. it, right? Exactly. But they make those pillars so stiff that you, it doesn't really compress a lot. Nope. Now, the Zoom unit is actually fibers. It's just a bunch of those little um, pillars, but they're just tiny fibers. So you're able to feel it more, but it still keeps it more stable. So I, I don't know. It's But it, like, yeah, it has its perks. Yeah, you yeah. can kind of feel it when you like dig your heel in. But other than that, you can't really feel it too much. And you're high off the ground, which I just said. So I, I also, I feel like the, the forefoot being so thin, you're probably not going to feel it a no. lot in the forefoot. So um, there's that, and also the materials. I, I like this. It's kind of like a cement colorway a little yeah, bit. Yeah, kind of, kind of like does that. have like a cement uh, Air Jordan vibe. It has like a retro aesthetically. Has the kind of a throwback vibe to it as well. Yeah. I mean, with the neons, and then yeah, that does look kind of like a cement. And then uh, 
Yeah. yeah. Air Force. Air Force Max, guys. Yeah. Uh, price probably maybe about 120. 120, 130. Yeah, I think like the Dominate was like around there, 110 or yeah. something like that. So this is full length, so pay maybe like 120, uh, a few uh, like 10, 20 dollars more. Uh, do not have a release date, but I don't know, man. Nike's been like releasing a lot of shoes where they don't have it on their site. Like the AD Exodus yeah. is not on their site yet, yeah. or besides the ID. Um, and on, do you see Draymond in like the Hyper Rev 2018? He's been playing in those for oh, like a yeah. freaking year. <laughs> yeah. still not out. I was like, what? Yeah. And also like Gordon Hayward, before he signed with Anta, he uh, he was wearing the uh, the Zoom Shift 2 or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically the same sh same shoe as one, but the upper is a little bit different. Right. And that's not out yet, but we've seen the Zoom Shift 2. We've known what it looked like for like six months. So I don't know what Nike's doing. I don't know when these are going to release. When do you guys think it'll release? This Maybe. is one of those shoes that they'll just, they might just drop. Yeah. And you just look on the site and say, oh, there's, <laughs> exactly. there's that. Maybe like once the season starts, maybe like October, November ish, you know, before Christmas, that's when you want to like have a lot of releases before Christmas. You yeah. Know, that's when they make, they make a lot of money. But um, anyway, tell us what you guys think. Uh, do you guys like Air Max? And what do you guys think about full length Air Max? Um, but, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.